All hail to the Christ within. This is Reverend George Latimer Knight. I want to make this quick video in response to an article I read about a week ago on CNN.com and the title is Atheists Take Aim at Christmas. And I won't go into the details. You can read the article for yourself on your own time. But basically there's several atheist, atheistic groups that are putting up various signs, advertisements to put down religion and to put down celebrating the Christmas. Now I have no problem with one aspect of what they're doing in saying that Christmas is based upon a pagan holiday, uh, the celebrating of the winter solstice. That is indeed a fact. And it was grafted on the celebration of Jesus' birth was grafted onto the celebration of the S-U-N, the celebration of the sun and the winter solstice. I have no problem with that part. That is a historical fact. It's all fine, well, and good. In fact, Father Hill in our organization, he told us we could celebrate Christmas, but understand the history behind it. And we, in fact, in lieu of Christmas, we celebrate his birth on February the 17th. Some saints do celebrate Christmas. They have children. In fact, when I was growing up, what my parents did when I was small, they would buy me one large gift for the Christmas holiday just for the fact that when I went to school I could tell my friends, oh, I got such and such for Christmas. The main one that sticks out in my mind was I got a Nintendo the first Christmas that it was out. I think it was back in 1986. I was Four, I was five years old. No, yes, I was four. No, no, I was five years old. Anyway, so it's fine, good. Christmas, we really not the birthday of Jesus. Fine, that's good. Fact. But I think these atheist groups are making a mistake. Now, of course, I don't agree with their position. I do believe there is a God, and I do preach the Bible. I had my call on today because I just got home from service, from afternoon service. But that's okay too. They have a right to their opinion and it's okay for them to even advocate their position. But I think they are spinning their, their wheels in the wrong direction. The smarter thing to do for atheists, for agnostics, for even for religious people, the smart thing to do is to affect positive change. If the atheists want to show the validity of their position and to show they are just as kind-hearted and loving as others, then it is hurting them to go around and just attack religion in the way they are doing, at least these particular groups that this article talks about. Because they are, in fact, embodying the same intolerance that they say the so-called Christians have. So they're doing the same thing, just from their point of view. The smarter thing would be how about atheists for children? How about starting a group, uh, atheists build homes for homeless people? How about atheists feed the hungry? How about uh, atheistic doctors giving free health care or atheistic uh, nurses offering free health advice? How about, and there are, is a group of atheists who are veterans, a thing called atheists are in foxholes or something like that because there is a standard line that you will find no atheist in a foxhole. In other words, someone who doesn't believe in God will not put themselves in a position to be killed for any reason because they don't believe there's anything after death. But there are there's a group of atheists who served in armed forces. These type of groups are fine. Atheists, if you want to show the validity of your position, if you want to show you a Bible and that you have a right to the public square, then present your arguments, but don't attack, attack, attack. Same thing for religious people. Do positive things in the community. Do something to help someone along the way, and thereby you will show at least that you're not just all about your little position, and that you're not all com uh, consumed by your religious point of view, that you are displaying love. That is really the charge against atheists that they don't love, that they don't, they're not moral. 
So if you can demonstrate atheists that you are loving and that you are moral, that would do a great deal to to advance your position, to help you get your place at the table of the public square. May peace and love abide with you always. That is my prayer for you.